Overnight, unrest across America. The death of George Floyd in police custody, sparking new protests nationwide. Here in the nation's capital, violence taking place just steps from the White House. You can see that fire uh, that's been set uh, just in front of the White House outside Lafayette Park. In an extraordinary step, U.S. Marshals and DEA agents were deployed to help keep the peace. It comes as NBC News has confirmed the Secret Service was so concerned about President Trump's safety during protests on Friday, they ushered him to a bunker underneath the White House for a very short period of time. More than 100 protests and rallies taking place in cities from coast to coast. In more than a dozen states, the National Guard was called in to help restore order. In Louisville overnight, a man was shot and killed after shots were fired toward the police officers and National Guard members during protests. The chief of police saying officers and soldiers returned fire. The identity of the man who was shot has not been released. In Tampa, smoke and ash filling the sky as businesses burn. Authorities shooting off tear gas. Cars like this police cruiser in Boston incinerated. While looters storm shops, including the small in Arizona. In New York City, this video of two NYPD vehicles ramming into a crowd of protesters, sparking outrage. The mayor defending the officers involved. I also want to emphasize that situation was created by a group of protesters blocking and surrounding a police vehicle. On Saturday night, Mayor Bill de Blasio's own daughter arrested during citywide protests, according to a senior NYPD official. In an effort to clear the streets, dozens of cities, including Minneapolis, put curfews in place over the weekend. We cannot afford to lose anyone else. We don't want any more innocent bystanders getting hurt. Please stay home. Chicago's mayor echoing what so many are feeling. We have to turn our pain into purpose in order to get through this moment together and do the work needed to unite our city. The protests were not all violent, though. In Denver, thousands laid on the ground for nine minutes, chanting, I can't breathe. This is what America's built While in on. Iowa, yes. hundreds marched to make their point. We feel it's time for us to stand up and show the nation Show, show the world, even at that with social media, that we can come together in a peaceful manner and state how we feel. You tell us what you need to do. The sheriff in Michigan marching arm in arm with his community. But it was on the streets of Washington, D.C., among the chaos, that I found a father trying to teach his son about peace. We don't have to retaliate with anger. We retaliate with love. That's why we're down here. But it's always another way. So that's all I want him to see. A poignant moment as a nation tries so hard to move forward. Meanwhile, back here in our nation's capital, you can see the firefighters have pulled up again to try and put out the, the latest fire that's broken out here uh, in Washington, D.C. In just a few moments, we'll have an, exclu an exclusive conversation uh, with the mayor of Washington, D.C., Muriel Bowser. We'll ask how the city's preparing for what they expect is going to be another night of protest.